Hello everybody, in this video I'd like to give you guys my top 5 tips for absolute beginners in Temtem. So tip number 1, I recommend that you get a full team of 6 Temtems as soon as you can. Compared to other games like Pokemon, this is actually a lot more important here because of the way that the stamina system works in Temtem. So if you've ever played any other RPG that has magic points, it's a lot like that, where once you run out of magic points to spend on all of your moves, you can no longer really cast any moves. At the point that any Tim is almost out of stamina, they can make one last move, but it's going to overexert them. And this usually does a little bit of damage to the Tim based on how much extra stamina is required to use that move. But more importantly, after using that one move and putting it into the overexerted state, their next turn is going to be skipped. The alternative is to make your Temtem wait a turn, which skips the overexerted state, but it's still going to skip their turn, obviously. So the reason that this makes having a team of six matter is that no matter how weak that extra guy on your team is, at the very least, it's going to be taking your opponent's Tim and making them run out of stamina. So even a very powerful Tim is going to eventually run out of steam. And at the point where your opponent's really strong Tim is weakened because of the stamina overexertion, your other guys can come in and finish it off. So contrary to Pokemon, where one extremely powerful Pokemon can just sweep entire teams and you really don't need to have any extra guys on your team, it's actually much more important in this game to have a full team of six. And the stamina rule also applies to your own guys as well, so don't think you can just win with one Tim. Unless you want to spend a massive amount on recovery items the entire game, but even then they're very expensive, and Tim Tim works in 2v2 battles, so putting all your eggs in one basket isn't really a strategy for the single player mode of this game. Okay, tip number two. You probably don't want to stuff your starter into storage. Most of the early Tim Tims that you can find in the tall grass are pretty atrocious. Uh, that typically goes with standard game design. You don't get the good ones early on, but Honestly, trying to win against the tougher fights, such as the first dojo battle, but without having your starter, is actually a little bit hard. You can take it from me, I was the rebel that tried to go against that advice, and as a result I wiped a lot early on, so if you don't want to deal with that same frustration, probably level up your starter and include that on your team. So tip number three, and this is kind of standard RPG game playing logic, but Use items to tank through boss fights, and that's going to mean you're also going to want to stock up on whatever HP recovery items you can get. So if you go to one of the stores, the standard one is called a Balm, which will recover your HP. There's also one called Tonic, which will recover HP and Stamina, which is also useful in certain circumstances. Because if you're using the same Temtem too much in the battle, you can run out of Stamina. And that puts you in a bad circumstance, so being able to actually recover your HP and your stamina at once is really strong. Obviously, those items are going to cost more money, and in general, the HP recovery items aren't that cheap. So try to be conservative with them, and save them for the really tough battles. You'll know them when you run into them. Generally, the opponents that are going to have six Temtems, like the villains or the dojo leaders, those are going to be the ones that you really need the items for. Okay, so tip number four. If you lost early on, more than likely the way you need to go is up, unless you're on some kind of quest that you want to complete. Um, most of the early storyline involves going up past a couple of towns. So just trying to save you a little time with this one, because in Tim Tim, since it's kind of open world, you can see where other people are going. And of course, depending at where they're at in the storyline, they're going to have access to other routes of uh, traveling around than you are. Uh, if you look at the map, it'll be obvious that there are other ways to go than straight up. But early game, that's pretty much the direction you need to head until you get access to those other forms of travel. You're going to end up seeing a lot of people on surfboards, for instance, and it's cool and you'll probably want one for yourself. But you can't just go into a shop and buy it. It's actually a story reward, so you'll have to keep going in the story in order to get that, and then you'll have access to other things. So hopefully that saves you a little bit of randomly walking around to find a surfboard vendor, because they don't really exist. 
Okay, tip number five, watch out for synergy moves. So synergy moves are going to have a little icon in the corner of them indicating that if you have the right type ally on the field, then that move is going to get a bonus effect. So the early example of this is Irushiel, which is a toxic type technique, and it synergizes if you have a toxic type Tim on the field. So the bonus effect it gets is that it will start to apply the poisoned condition to a target that it hits, which makes it much better than just doing some damage. So you're actually going to want to watch out for these kind of effects, and it actually makes it interesting because it makes the team composition you choose a little bit more important. Related things you may want to watch out for are the traits of the Temtems that you pick up. So for instance, one called Pick-a-Pick, -Pick, it can have a trait called Friendship, which makes it immune to taking damage from allied moves. And then there is a move called Chain Lightning, which deals damage to a target, and then going clockwise, the two following targets. So if you use it on your opponent's left Temtem, it's going to hit the right Temtem as well, and then also your ally. So if you position the Pick-a-Pick -Pick correctly, then it can take the damage for the Chain Lightning with no drawbacks because the Friendship just makes it immune to it. So in Temtem paying attention to the synergy moves and the specific traits which your Temtems have is going to be relevant, uh, partially because all of the battles are 2v2. So it is a little bit more about the team selection than it is the individual power of a single Temtem. So that's going to be it for my top 5 tips for absolute beginners in Temtem. I hope that this gets anyone who's just starting with the game up to speed a little bit. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.